While the UV tanning tax may be blamed for thousands of salon closures, we just talked about that a minute ago, that and the economy, people still want the perfect tan here in Southern California. Dr. Daniel Tahari is uh, with LA Laser Center. He's an, a member of the American Board of Dermatology and author of the book, Practical Management of Skin Cancer. Is there such a thing, management of skin cancer? Well, there is. Um, uh, the incidence of skin cancer is rising dramatically um, year after year. And really, the treatment of skin cancer involves mostly surgical options at this time. So avoidance is obviously the best way to and get And it's there. mostly attributed to UV rays? It's, um, well, there's different kinds of skin cancer. There's three main types, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma. Those two types are directly related to UV light. Uh, malignant melanoma is not as directly related to UV light, but it is mostly related to, um, basically, it's somebody who goes out and gets burned by sun, as opposed to a construction worker who's outside all the time. All the time. It's not cumulative UV exposure. Okay, the question a lot of people have, is there a safe way to tan? Because we all like that sort of bronzed, healthy look, what we consider healthy. Well, safe way to tan would be spray tan. Any kind of tanning, uh, tanning beds that promote themselves as being safe, is really not the truth. Uh, they mostly use UVA as opposed to the UVB spectrum of the ultraviolet light. And the problem with the UVA is that it penetrates actually deeper into the skin. And what it does, it causes um, the sunspots that you see. It causes the collagen damage in the dermis, the second layer of the skin. And that causes premature and those aging. And we're, we're talking about the tanning beds that you go in, you put the little goggles on, and the light comes on, and you're like in a spacecraft for a little while. Absolutely. Is there a downside to tanning sprays and lotions at all? Not really. All it is is basically DHA is a chemical that it binds to the outer layer of the skin, oxidizes, and causes a, a tanning effect. Well, you know, a lot of people are talking about this, uh, the tax, and we've been referring to the tanning tax. It was created in part to discourage the use of tanning beds. Uh, there's also a proponent of that requiring um, that, that people get carded. There's an age proponent that, that people under the age of 18 not be allowed to use those beds. What do you think about that? I think it's actually being done right now in the U.K. Um, I think that's a great idea. You know, um, decisions you make when you're young uh, can actually come to haunt you later on in life. The temporary gratification of having a nice tan, and I can speak for myself, I used to go to the beach growing up, it can really come back to haunt you. And it, it's not when you're 60 or 70. We see people in their 30s, 40s developing skin cancer now. The ozone layer is not there to protect you as much. And, you know, forget skin cancer, the aging effect. So many people come in their 30s and 40s so traumatized by the aging effects of what they did to that body when they're in their teens. If we all knew today uh, or 30 years ago what we should have known about the sun, I mean, I can remember being a lifeguard and thinking, you know, baby oil was the best thing in the world. Absolutely. Same. It, it really can come back to you before you know it. And, um, you know, skin cancer incidences, one in 55 people develop melanoma uh, right now. One in 55 people, that's very high odds. Um, three million cases of basal cell carcinoma a year. Uh, half of Americans develop skin cancer before age 65. Has right? that doubled or tripled or how far, how has that increased over the years? It all depends on which kind of skin cancer you're talking about and it all depends on the geographic location. But they're all going up. They're all that's going up. That's the one up. thing they have in common. Very significantly. All right, doctor, thank you very much. Appreciate you coming in today. And thank you for having me. Wear your sunscreen. Right? And avoid the tanning beds. Got it. All right. Thank you.